Hi, good morning everyone and now it's 9 o'clock in the morning in Luang Prabang so today's video is about the experiment so coming back home this time after a while being away uh, I have kind of mixed three feelings you know good and the bad so the good feeling that I have is we have this high-speed train which is very easy and convenient for us to travel from one city to another it cuts a lot of time. I did take a uh, train from Wang Bieng back to Luang Prabang and it was only one hour and uh, 15 minutes only uh, where if you compare with the bus, it would take at least four to six hours, which is a lot longer. So that's a good feeling about coming back home this time. But unfortunately, there are a few things that I'm not very happy about or keen on coming back to, which is the multiple crisis that Laos is going through right now. And number one is the fuel shortage, uh, and number two is the inflation, and number three is the cost of living that is spiking high. So coming back home, I've noticed, you know, the price of the goods and products and food has gone up a lot compared to last year. So in today's video, I'll do experiment and a budget challenge for $10 one day here in Luang Prabang. By the way, the exchange rate right now, $10 is about uh, 150,000 kip, which compared to last year's exchange rate, $10 is about 95,000 kips. So that means Lao kip has lost its value, you know, against US dollars up to 23%. Uh, so that's quite high. So yeah, I'm going to do experiment yes. and I'll see what $10 can get me in here in the most expensive cities in Laos. And by the end of the video, I'll let you decide whether or not that Laos is still an affordable country for a low-budget traveler like myself. Let's do that. And for breakfast, I already take away omelette with vegetable from local stall that cost me 15,000 kip, which is about $1. Okay, so right now I'm at a shopping mall. I'm gonna show you how much price has gone up compared to last year. I still remember exactly what I used to get here from this uh, shopping mall. So first of all, I'm gonna show you this yogurt. You see this one? Before it was only 10,000 gift and now it has gone up to 20,000 gift. So that is 100% more. Alright, so I'm so thirsty, so I got this water, the medium sized bottle that cost me 4,000 kip, which back then it was only 3,000. So 4,000 is about, you know, $30 cent. And this is Luang Prabang Library, which is the only public library here in Luang Prabang. Uh, it's a place where you can come and read your book, uh, or you can rent your book, but you have to get the membership card. Uh, you can come here and teach children how to read, or you know, draw pictures, or teach them English. Uh, also, you can be a sponsor. You can buy books from here and then donate it to the children in a village. So the library organized everything for you. You can uh, either take boat or tuk-tuk or taxi to the remote village and then you can offer books and gifts to the children yourself. It's quite a good cause what they're doing here. So 
So now it's 12 o'clock and I'm soaking hot from walking. So I'm gonna treat myself with a nice cool drink at this local cafe. So this strawberry shake cost me 18,000 kip, which is about $1.15. And now it's already 12.30, so I decided to go to have a haircut at a local barber. my haircut done so the haircut with shampoo and blow dry cost me 30,000 k which is about two dollars so that's very good price all right so it's 1 30 now so I'm gonna order my lunch which is gonna be uh, chicken stir fry with rice uh, as you can see here the original price was 15,000 k and now uh, they change it into 20,000 kip. It's still not a big change, you know, uh, in terms of price when compared to other places. So my lunch for today is stir fry chicken with rice and it comes with a little soup and omelette and a little bottle of water that cost me 28,000 kip which is about $2 which is not too bad, it's still affordable compared to last year I would pay let's say 22 to 25,000 kip which is about $1.80 or $1.55 or something so after my lunch, I decided to have this traditional long proban dessert which is corn mixed with sweet potato, coconut milk, and sugar syrup and that cost me 7,000 kip which is about $50 cent And in the evening, I'm kind of tired, so for dinner, I decided to go for something simple, which I ordered a local sandwich, and that cost me 15,000 kip, which is about $1. And for the dessert, I decided to go for two packs of coconut pancake, and that is 10,000 kip, which is about $65. Okay, so here's the thing. Coming here as tourists, you know, with American dollars or Thai baht, it's still very cheap and affordable with the exchange rate. But for local people, it's not a very good deal. You know, it's quite expensive for us. So yeah, Luang Prabang is still a, an affordable place for a low-budget traveler like myself.